Jesus Christ. All right, now let's see what John has been up to this entire time. That's good to know. Previously on John's spy adventure, she ran across a corridor and went down the elevator shaft and encountered various enemies that she could kill with stealth attacks, just in case you forgot. How many more chapters am I gonna play? Um, I wanna say one, two, maybe three more chapters, I wanna say. Not including the side, not including the side chapter. Actually, wait, one, two, three. Like, I wanted to play a total of six chapters today, not including the side chapters. But that might change. Although, I think whenever Amanda says dinner's ready, I'll probably take a break. Like, during the, the chapter after that. Because what time is it? It's also... 6.41, so... I just hope he's still breathing. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This should take care of security. Why can you not double jump? Friggin' Smash Bros. platforms. That's also a beautiful Joe reference, by the way. Just in case y'all didn't know that one. Those distant, hear the sound. Wait, what is this? <laughs> See the spectacle. Evil doers, fear final justice. If the platinum knight <laughs> what? The weak and innocent. QTJ is here. That was a beautiful Joe reference. Let's go. Oh my god. She did the fucking henshin! Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, come on. This thing is dead. There we go. Damn, I can't believe at the end of this facility, there was just lava. That's crazy. <laughs> the fucking Terminator reference, I can't. This should take care of security. Wow. Unbelievable. Dr. Sigurd, a pleasure to finally meet you. Wait, what? Pure platinum, baby! Hell yeah! That is what I'm talking about. All right, chapter 10, cover of night. Ooh, it's a Viola chapter. All right, so real quick. So how do I go into, um, how do I go into the screen? Is it just, nope, never mind. <laughs> Thank you, Cosmic. I needed that. Also, what's up? How you doing? By the way, Cosmic, um, so we were talking earlier about, like, you know, what sort of, like, you and Scruff were saying about the speedrun potential of this game, but I obviously can't do it justice. Um, what were the things about this game that really made it, like, less than ideal for a speedrun? Like, in your opinion... Also, before we start, I need to... Nope, not... No, no, thank you. Not photo mode. I need to do this. So... Jesus Christ. Okay. Um... I'm gonna, at the very least... with that. I want to see what uh what else there is. Yep, that's going to be useful. Drops on enemies. There's a vertical loop that launches enemies. Uh yeah, let's go with that for the time being, I think. Sounds good. And then, so what was this? Three out of one witch hearts. Uh, let me actually do this. Because I feel bad. On a fundamental level, well, for one, no one wants to admit this, but action game speedruns sort of wear out their welcome after like 1.5 hours. And this is definitely going to be like a 2.5 to 3 hours in, on the regular. So that's kind of what I had said about the length especially, but I wasn't sure if there was more with that as well. Oh, there it is. There's Tempest. There it is. That that was the one. Also, Moonbeans, thank you so much for following. Welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so now we don't need to worry about that for a little bit.
Ooh, there's a key. I need this key to open things. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I already knew that this was going to be a much longer game, and, like, that would be less than ideal for, like, this type of genre for a speedrun. But I also feel like, you know, being forced into a lot of the, like, you know, the force segments might restrict a little bit. I think also. Someone was also mentioning that you get a lot of great movement tech in, at the end, but, like, that's at the end. There's a lot of sections where they steer off in the core gameplay loop. Yep, that, that was the other thing I was thinking. If these sections were quick, it'd be fine, such as the stealth sections, but normally they're drawn-out sequences. Yeah, they're really long sequences. Yeah, I agree. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, I don't like this. No, where's, where's her grapple hook? Her grapple hook was better. Where's the grapple hook? No, thank you. Why can I not grab the hook? No, that's so lame. That's so lame. Is my phone going off? It does not look like it. Ah! Oh! That's so lame. Disable the ability on the left. Which, okay. Crystal Feather. Thank you. I will happily disable that for Grapple Hook. Oh, it's one of these again. Come on. Ugh. Wow, okay. There's a lot of overlap between weapon functions, which will lead to less variety in weapon usage. Some of those hunters are gonna be what Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. I and all of that together attributes to a less than ideal speed run. I think it especially sucks too because like I remember you were telling me that like even like Bayo 2 is a very like basic by the number speed run. Oh I still have Moon of okay. Just hit me! Stop fucking dancing, you idiot! Come on, just come on, kill me, I'm here! Oh my god, of course I dodged it. Oh my god. going pretty well and I hope you were doing well yourself. I'm gonna try this one more time and then I'm just gonna leave. I 
I don't know why consuming bliss still exists in Bayo anyways. Actually, I was kind of thinking of that myself. Because I remember even in, like, Bayo 2, they were really stupid. Like, e and even for, like, um, like, the grinding, like, the Halo grinding strat, like... I'm not fucking doing this. I'm gonna go crazy doing it on stream, so I'm just gonna do it off stream and, be cr and go crazy there. Yeah, I, I also don't understand why they still exist, because they just do a crap ton of damage. Like, even in Bayo 2, like, obviously I never used any of the consumables, but when I was grinding for Halos and I was using them, I was like, Jesus, man. Like... It is absolutely ridiculous how much damage they do. Verse two, okay. I think I just, I think I skipped a verse. Hang on a minute. Hey, 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 hey! Fucking calm down! Oh my god. Jesus, this witch time timing is such a pain in the ass. Alright, you know what? Chester, just 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 fucking kill him, please. Thank you. Over here, Chester! I'm never doing this first hyper for sanity. Fair enough. Right. It's strange. I feel actually, like it's wait. Calling me. I actually did miss something else over here, which probably means that I'm gonna have to another do another verse at some point. But yeah, they're like a bunch of reasons why I don't think it'll be good, but I'm sure it'll be at least interesting to see some people route. Yeah, like I, I like I'd be interested to see people route it and do it, but I feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like obviously the game just came out and it's like, oh, we get to map this and run this and it'll be cool, but then like after like it's like five Virgil, you know? It's like, yeah, this is cool for a hot minute, but then <laughs> then you just realize, oh, you just do judgment cut over and over and over again. And then you just stop. <laughs> Kinda like me. All right, so th that was probably not an ideal way to get up here, but it's my playthrough. Where did this thing go? <laughs> he was scruffing and I have to doing judgment cuts for two months while well, that just happened. Who is it that came in and like actually did a ver like an actual like Virgil speed run to and got like what was it like fucking fifty something? That shit was crazy. Oh my god, I messed up. No! <laughs> And they were doing like Rising Dragon and stuff. Tokame? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, damn it. Catch you sleeping. I really want to do this one, but at the same time, I'm afraid that it's just going to give me a lollipop, so I think I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's fine. Now, how did I get up here before?
Scruff and I could probably beat his time, but we just don't care about the Virgil. Fair enough. Fair enough. Honestly, I was kind of in like a similar situation where I was thinking like, you know, if I had actually been able to participate in the, um, like the, the speedrun relay race and the Virgil category actually happened, then I would be more motivated to practice Virgil again and actually learn those strats, but yeah. I think I spent more time in this area than I did the rest of the level. Well, here's the other thing too, right, Seeker? Like, obviously the fact that, like, these areas are just so wide open now, like, it's actually kind of insane that there's just so much to do, like, with all these collectibles. It's not a very, like, straightforward path, so it really is sort of, like, open world-ish. Alright, so is it gonna... It's like an open world-ish kind of game. Three, four. And I can wait for this last one. There we go. Oh, thank God I actually did it then. Such a shame it didn't, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is though. I'm I'm sure that there'll be a, another time for sure. Like it also really sucks too that I had to like, I actually had to tell Scruff that I had to drop out because um, I actually did have something going on that day that I unfortunately couldn't, uh, I couldn't miss. Um, we had planned something and I was like, yeah, I can't miss this thing. Um, and I felt really bad about the news. Like, yeah, that's when he told me, like, the side categories were gonna have to be canceled anyways. So, I felt less bad, but, yeah. Hopefully next year we can get... Yeah, absolutely. Like, I would totally be down for that. And you know what? You already know exactly what I'm gonna say. At least, at least everything that you guys are doing is better than that, uh... That 20th anniversary, am I right? No, Cheshire! Stop hurting my kitty cat! Oh god. Yeah, I just blocked that. I'm almost dead. Summon the kitty cat! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now he's mad. Now he's really- oh, he's pissed. Go get him, kitty cat! You can do it! I believe in you! Oh, thank god I'm alive. I fucking love this character so much, man. Uh, you know what's funny, Cosmic? I was literally thinking, like, just the other day about how, um, they did upload a couple of VODs, and then I was thinking, huh, they didn't really give any other updates after that, didn't they? So, and then you tweeted that out this morning. And I was like, yep. That sounds about right. Yeah, Viola's definitely got the best theme in the game, for sure. I think it's Leagues better than Bayo's. Well, this world sure looks lovely. Looks like this could go at any Amanda! minute. Amanda! I'd better put Hi. the case or else. Dinner's ready. I will after this mission before I have dinner. Deal? <laughs> I'm motivated. 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 Tyler, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. For the 23 months, that's almost two years, man. That's crazy. 
Thank you so much, man. Oh, I'm almost dead. I actually am dead now. <laughs> Hey, 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 fuck it, hey, 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 chill out. That, that totally hit me, that's cool. <laughs> oh my god, man. Go get him, kitty cat. Oh, wait, that's right. Nope, I can't do that. What? Oh, my God. You know what? I haven't seen this yet. Oh, shit! <laughs> that's what this does! Oh, that's so cool! Yeah, stacking up the red hot shots is very nice. Because, dear god. I feel like that's the thing, too. Like, I, I, it almost felt like there was, like, no animation for that hit. Play Bayo 3 with a steering queen. That's amazing. You know, when I was originally going to start my Bayonetta playthrough, I wanted to see what would happen if I had played it with a GameCube controller. And I'm so glad I did not, I did not do that. Opacus! My arch enemy, Opacus. Oh, look at that. Blocked. Woo! Oh my god, I'm trying to... Bullshit. Yeah, I agree, bullshit. The shadow remains cast. You took the theory float off, right? The Yeah, I did, I did. I took the float off. Okay, you know what? I feel like, yeah, this is kind of a detriment to me now. I need more health with Viola. I feel like I don't need as much health with Bayonetta, but for Viola, I definitely need it. What the fuck? Got him. And it wasn't a perfect witch time. There we go. I fucking hate that it doesn't last as long because it's not a perfect parry. Is it a fucking one frame or something? Or does it depend on the attack? I parried that! Okay. 
I feel like I get so frustrated when I'm playing as Viola, but her combat music is just that fucking good. And then she does this after you kill a really annoying ass set of enemies, and it's like, you know what? I feel better about myself now. Also, I just immediately thought of a solution that makes me very angry at Platinum, and I'll tell you guys in just a second, right? You know what? I'll, I can tell you now because I'm in the middle of this platforming section. So why in the hell, right, did they not give her parry the the same timing as the moon, uh, like the moon accessory, you know? Like, I feel like that would just be like an objectively better which time to parry button. Like that would be universal to her, to her you know? As a good way to sort of like familiarize players into the the blocking with her, you know? Maybe make the timing a little bit more strict or something, but like, I don't know. Cause like, I feel like, I feel like the button just, I'm so mixed on it, it's so ridiculous. Like, ugh. I just feel like shit when I actually get a timing right and I'm like, oh, I got the timing right. And then the witch time happens for literally like a second and then it just goes away. Woman, hail you from the same sphere as that beast man? I think that's what's, what's annoying me a bit more with it. Which time is dependent on how late you do it now? Luca. So he is called Luca. Oh, that's Jesus Luca, okay. Oh, Luca. <laughs> Luca. <laughs> what is this place? So Luca go. So if I press it too early. He no longer tarries here. So if I press it too early, and then it hit okay. So I'm pressing it slightly too early then, maybe. It seems we were drawn together across the world walls to find each other here. Drawn together? Then what am I doing here? It appears as though you also share a bond most deep with us. A bond of- Why does he look like, um... Brother and sister, or something more. Like, it's like the blue with like the cape-isms. It kind of reminds you of like Homelander. Woman, I know you. The voice calls to me. Wait, what are you saying? Don't go! But yeah, Reaping, I agree. Viola is an amazing character. And I absolutely love and adore her, but I 100% agree that the gameplay is get, starting to get frustrating. And it's like exclusively because of the parry. Because <laughs> like, I feel like if it was like the mood of Malika Ha timing, it'd be different. But like, you know, you, you know what? I wonder how much they really experimented with this. Cause like, I wonder if it was maybe just like, you know, if she had, let's say that like, if you just did it like neutral, then maybe, I don't know. It's, the, I feel like there really is no happy medium with it, honestly. Oh, what? I thought I killed you. Oh, you asshole. Sure. 
Hang on, I was just about to use a health item, actually. And you know what? It looks like I'm gonna be using an actual health item now. Are you gonna... Are, are you... There we go. Would you like more Viola or Cheshire? Uh... Viola. 100%. She reminds me a lot of a comp... She's like a combination of Nero and Travis Touchdown. And I think that's why I really enjoy her. But, like, I think that, um, you know, Nico, like, the finding, like, that it's easier to do the perfect parry with the moon, I feel like a lot of that might just be, like, the familiarity of it, you know what I mean? Like, because when I put my, uh, when I put the, uh, hold up, let me, when I put the input for, um, her parry on, uh, Oh my god, why can't I speak? It's because I'm concentrating on a platforming section. Uh, there we go. When I put her parry on um, ZR, like the dodge input, it was a lot easier to get the parry timing down, and I was able to do it more consistently. But the problem is, it changes launcher inputs and stinger inputs. So forward here... Because that's how I do all my attacks, you know? Um, and that's absolutely the main problem for me. Like, that's what it is. Is that, like, sense of familiarity that I just rely on. Because that's how I, <laughs> that's how I do my stuff, you know? Um, like, it would basically... I basically equivalate it to, like... Okay, like, let's say for... For every single DMC game, right? Um, Dante's Royal Guard... Like... No, it's, this is not even a really a great comparison. Like, there's just no there's just no happy medium to switching it, you know? Because I was thinking earlier, like, if she had, let's say, like, um, neutral dodge was the parry, but then she had, like, an actual dodge, like, all over the place over here, then, like, maybe that would work, right? But then the problem is, like, if I press forward and then dodge, she would do this and not parry, even if I, like, accidentally flick it. Like, if I'm in the middle of combat or whatever, and then all of a sudden I want to press this, it's like, I could just instantly do that. But if I press forward even a little bit, these dodges happen. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm wondering if, like, really that happy medium should have been, like, you know, give her the mood of Malakaha input, um, make the timing maybe a little less strict for it, um, or at the very least, like, you know give her the ability to have the parry option here um or maybe even if it was like parry here to, i don't know i don't know man it's just so hard it's so hard to figure it out because it's like it's like my brain is telling me to go right and then all of a sudden my body turns left like that's literally what it feels like Oh, which time is disabled? Oh, well, it's not like that really fucking matters, huh? Nice flash kick for the 7th 
You know what I just realized reading that combat, <laughs> reading that comment, uh, Nico? Um, so, I was thinking like, oh yeah, you know, that makes sense. You know, they could steal from MGR, you know, they could steal from MGR and do that. And then I remembered, as I was thinking that, that Platinum made MGR. So why didn't they think of that? Like, forward, like, it could be like, yeah, it's, it, it, my head hurts. My head hurts, man. I hear a frog. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, shit. Rodan shop. Unfortunately, I don't need to go there. Rip Rodan and his shop. And the lack of usefulness that it had. Or, well, the lack of useless... Useful... The lack of usefulness it now has. Oh, my God. I need to sleep. It's you, Luca! All right, are we gonna do this dance again, buddy? Oh, I guess not. I guess Viola's just dead. Stunlock, stunlock, stunlock. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Luca. Oh, my God. 
Backdash! Jesus Christ, man! I went to do a fucking launcher, and it registered my input as right bumper, and then go to the. Wow, that's annoying. So I'm now convinced that Viola just doesn't have any fucking dodge frames at all. Or she doesn't have any iframes on her dodge. Oh, she's bleeding. Oh, she is definitely bleeding. Luca, please stop. I don't want to hurt you. We might be from different worlds, but I know you feel it. It's me. I'm your. I'm your what? <laughs> Daughter? Question mark? No, you can't end like that. Explain yourself, please. This is just one outcome, but the possibilities are endless. <laughs> Shut up, Luca. What? Oh, that's gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah, that's, uh... That's definitely, uh... That's definitely a I'm your daughter moment. Wow. Alright. 
Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. So, all right, I just gotta, I just gotta get this out of here real quick because this is, the, I think, the main thing that's starting to bug the shit out of me now. Um, so that fight especially, um, I just know there were a lot of little things that I noticed. I'm not sure if it's my fault they're happening or if it's my controller or whatever the case might be. But I'm noticing instances where I go to like do like a, an attack sequence. Like if I'm pressing light, light in a row, instead of doing light, light, she'll do light and then hold the sword as if I'm holding down the button. I noticed that a couple times and when I went to do the launcher at that one point and I had my um, my hand on the block as like my lock on and I went to really quickly uh, tap uh, back on the left stick in order to um, do another light attack for the launcher and she just dashed back like did the what was it like the dash but she went in the opposite direction because that's the way that it uh, that it went. Um, because there is no, like, Umbran Spear. It's just that. Um, and it'll lock on. That that was very noticeable. And I think nothing drives me crazier in a game where, like, I try to do something. And because of, like, the technicalities of it, it will do something else. Um, I haven't felt that with Bayonetta just yet. But in this chapter specifically, I felt that a lot with Viola. Um... So I'm I'm gonna need to watch out for that because um, I'm I'm not really sure what that means. Um, yeah, and I and I think like this, is, I'm starting to see what people are saying now about Viola. But like my thing with her is that like I very much enjoy her as a character, but I can see where her oversights and her combat are right are now. Um, and I think that's something that that they unfortunately, obviously, they obviously they can't fix. Um, but there's just a lot of like little technical shit there that's like, that's just not not ideal. I can I can see it now. Um, but these la these last two chapters have been really good, um, and I've really enjoyed them so far. But like the it's the viola thing is just something i'm gonna need to watch out for and i'm not sure if it's something that could just be solved over time with more practice or if maybe the fact that i'm playing on expert might make it a little bit extra frustrating because of that unfamiliarity factor um i don't know so we're just gonna have to to wait and see and that's gonna be it for this episode guys what did you all think of this particular section of the game um what are your thoughts on viola so far and just sort of like what are your thoughts on pretty much this, like, I guess, like, situation with her? Um, as well as what's coming next. So whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you liked the content and you would like to see more, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to get notified to see more. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time.